In this video, we are going to talk about top 10 most protected man in the world. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to this channel for our future updates. The disproportionately large percentage of world power is dominated by a handful of individuals, whether they are political leaders or business moguls, with a single decision, these individuals can restructure the lives of millions. These figures, of course, ultimately produce multiple enemies and need a genuine arsenal to keep them safe. Personal security officers, better known as bodyguards, are seen as the preserve of royalty, celebrities, and political figures alike, from kidnappings to attempted murders. But as the number of individuals with high net worth continues to rise, bodyguards are now in demand for a rising and diverse range of clients. But you might ask just what makes a person worth protecting? You're just about to find out. Number 10. Vladimir Putin. Like other political leaders in Russia, Vladimir Putin is protected by the Federal Protective Service, but Putin's citizens seem to be completely different from each other. In the Federal Protection Service, nothing is known about the workings of Putin's arm. It is so confidential that only speculation can be made on what they do, there is no public data on their activities and there are no publicly accessible reports. Since his first acting presidency, Vladimir himself has been a controversial figure who has been at the center of media attention, where it was noted that the man had begun to develop a sort of personality cult around him similar to some previous leaders. While there are no massive sculptures of him being put up, in his own right he has become an internet icon that has kept him in the public realm, sometimes something that doesn't come without its prices. Of course, because of the political and financial corruption of his cabinet, the populist perception of this leader is highly divided, resulting in endless threats of demonstrations and assassination attempts that have made it necessary for Putin to beef up security in his own unique way. Number 9. Donald Trump. With an estimated net worth of $3.1 billion, Donald J. Trump is an American real estate businessman and the new president of the United States. Clearly, with its unrivaled security detail, the role of president has always come, meaning it often comes with a steep budget. Protecting former President Barack Obama and his family for a year, for instance, costs around $16 million. But President Trump ratcheted up the expense to an unprecedented $29 million within 10 weeks of being in office. In May 2017, as a result, the U.S. ultimately, Congress passed a federal budget bill that shelled out an astounding $120 million for President Trump and his family for a whole year of defense, just a few million dollars short of what it would cost to defend President Obama for all eight years of his two terms. Except that Trump often moves between the White House and its extended estates, and his immediate family has often preferred to live outside the White House and its secure perimeter, an increase like this would not be completely appropriate for a president. Number 8. Kim Jong-un. When they saw his security team running alongside his armored limousine during a visit to Singapore, the world quickly became obsessed with the safety of North Korean Supreme Leader Kim Jong-un. How exactly does a man go about his day from inside his own circle of control while being constantly paranoid about assassination attempts and competition? As it turns out, Kim Jong-un has his own 100,000-man army with a command structure that reports directly to him, not just a personal secret service detail shielding him from close range. You will not be able to say his specifics are surrounding him at all times as they practically vanish into the backgrounds and spectacles. This unit is known as the Supreme Guard Order. This unit not only aims to defend its chief but is also used as a propaganda instrument. By claiming that he is untouchable, though actually trying to defend his herbal system from inside sabotage, Kim Jong-un is trying to convey the idea of his supposed near-sacred value. Number 7. Queen Elizabeth II. So far, Queen Elizabeth II has had a remarkable career. She is the first British queen to commemorate the Sapphire Jubilee in 2017, marking her 65-year reign. She will again be the first UK queen to mark a platinum jubilee if she is still reigning by 2022. The queen was secured by the Royal Guard, a name given to the infantry and cavalry that you would most likely remember standing guard at the royal residences. Throughout the years, the foot guards who patrol the parameters of the royal residences, the soldiers who wear red tunics, and those tall bearskin caps. Also, Marines are FA agents and, depending on the mission or the travel method of the royal family, Navy fleets have mounted to the Queen's Guard, they have posted at Paquette Bank and Tower of London's Buckingham Palace Windsor Castle, to name a few. 
While the Queen's estimates of her protection expenditure are private, it's costly, as you would imagine. In 2010, it was speculated that it would cost about 100 million British pounds a year to provide around-the-clock protection for 21 family members. Number 6. Pope Francis. The Pope is also the Bishop of Rome and the world's leading ex officio. He, too, requires the utmost security as the head of the Catholic Church and as the president of a country. The Pope is possibly residing in one of the world's most heavily armored cities, Vatican City, a city-state in Rome, Italy. You can also see all the stoic guards clad in antiquated armor bearing similarly outdated spears as you walk through the streets. That's right, the Pope is being shielded by spears, but don't be fooled. In fact, these armed guards are a high-end military force made up of top ex-Swiss soldiers who, in mere seconds, can subdue a threat. They also have the finest range of weapons, apart from the spears, tucked away in case there is a need. The Swiss Guard is over 500 years old, making it the world's longest-serving army. In fact, when it was officially established in 1506 by Pope Julius II, the Guard was a mercenary force, still known to this day for some of the most decisive victories during the skirmishes in and around Rome. Who better defends such a holy figure than an army that has suffered an assault for 500 years? Number 5. Vladimir Lenin. To be considered important and worth defending, most of you will actually be surprised to find out that you don't even have to be alive and breathing. Located in Red Square in the center of Moscow, Russia is a mausoleum that now serves as the resting place for Vladimir Lenin, the former Soviet leader. Since shortly after he died in 1924, his body has been on public display. There was an honor guard during wartime, with a few exceptions, who kept watch over his body 24 hours a day for 95 years, 7 days a week. It's rumored that soldiers are told that the most valuable thing Russia has is the body of Lenin. The Kremlin Regiment is a specific military order that forms part of the Russian Federal Protective Service, with a special unit status that guarantees the protection of the Kremlin, its treasures, and officials of the state, including Lenin himself. Not every nation has the concept of embodying a corpse, but Lenin's never-rotting body often reflects the soldiers as an everlasting representation of his aspirations for the Soviet Union. Number 4. Mark Zuckerberg. Nothing about Facebook is a mystery anymore, including the personal security budget of CEO Mark Zuckerberg. Mark Zuckerberg has spent around $20 million on protection since 2015, with $7.3 million going to his own private bodyguards for his home and traveling. Some reports say that this detail consists of 16 full-time guards who work in shifts at all times. These bodyguards are often referred to as a Zuckerberg secret police. It was also recorded that as other compensation for their own personal protection scheme, an extra $2.3 million went to the chief executive officer of the company. For any CEO of a large company, this amount of money in total is considered to be a record for security costs. For instance, it was tech executive Larry Ellison for Oracle over a decade ago who had the most safety expenses recorded at $1.8 million. With the company continually under fire for the accumulation of vast quantities of personal data from its users and the sale of that knowledge to the highest bidder, Zuckerberg seems to prefer to keep a safer secret in his own personal life. Number 3. Jay-Z and Beyoncé. Jay-Z and Beyoncé, known as the musical dynasty, have also been attacked by rogue fans or other offenders. Her husband agreed, after an incident in Brazil, where a fan managed to get on stage and yank Beyoncé down to the floor, that he would ramp up their security for millions of dollars. Jay-Z recruited five new personal security guards who are all former intelligence officers to accompany the five guards who are already assigned to his wife when she's traveling on top of the workforce to do it right for that amount. Two bomb-proof Latvia SUVs were also bought by the music giant, the same protective military-grade vehicles identical to those sometimes used by former President Barack Obama. The couple is looking at constructing a security complex around their Los Angeles mansion now that personal security is taken care of, which is expected to cost a modest $88 million. For their security guards, the renovation would include a 10-car carport, a two-car garage, as well as living quarters and rooms. Although it goes without saying that their newborn child also has a security detail with an approximate value of about $1 million, it seems that they have to invest money to secure money. Number 2. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. 
The new home of Prince Harry and Meghan's security arrangements cost $654 million in closed sources to the couple's report. They decided on a cottage and boat at Frogmore, about 45 minutes outside London. According to royal experts Katie Nichol, it is situated in Windsor, Berkshire and it's near the popular Windsor Castle, the place is essentially like a fortress. According to royal experts Katie Nichol, Vanity Fair has also confirmed that security at Frogmore Cottage is Fort Knox style, with high-tech cameras and sensors around the perimeter, those who have been in the area said drones are banned near the house. A sign reads, Police Flight Safety Notice Drones Banned in This Area, In This Field. It is prohibited to launch, land or operate drones or remote control aircraft, which is an addition to a security force with more than 1,000 highly qualified soldiers committed to the protection of a young couple. Number 1. El Chapo. There are so many well-known faces behind the prison walls, and yet no other inmate is more heavily secured for all that notoriety than Mr. Hakan Guzman, the Sinaloa drug lord cartel whom the world knows as El Chapo. El Chapo was imprisoned on many occasions and yet managed to avoid his incarceration. But after he was arrested again in 2016 and extradited to the United States, where he now lives in Manhattan, New York's 10 South Jail, the drug lord has been watched 24 hours a day by armed guards who have armed guards watching over them as well. Every night, he has to sleep in another cell, and the dogs that help guard him also have to taste his food in the event of poisoning. Mr. Guzman also complained about his conditions in the 10th South Jail, such as being locked in his cell for 23 hours a day, except visits to attorneys and courts, and any outside contact with his family and the media was denied. He has definitely become an advocate for prison reform, but the serial prisoner who was accused of killing thousands during Mexico's brutal drug wars should escape and has a confirmed history of killing his rivals even though under lock and key, genuinely declaring some kind of moral high ground. What do you think of our list? What do you think of those people who are really well covered? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.